I'm Ted from South Carolina. I've been a reliable Republican voter since 1980. In 2016, I supported John Kasich, not Trump. I didn't see that Donald Trump had the achievement or aptitude to be president of the United States. But I confess, I was amused when Trump won. It um, was a bit of a finger in the eye of the pundit class. But this stopped being funny a long time ago. Donald Trump has faced two big moments, two opportunities to show leadership during his presidency, the coronavirus and the Black Lives Matter movement. And he botched both of those far worse than anyone could possibly have imagined. Donald Trump has none of the capabilities of, or characteristics of a leader. He can't listen. He can't learn. He can't persuade. Donald Trump should not be running a White Castle franchise, let alone the White House. So I'm going to vote for Joe Biden, and I strongly encourage anyone reviewing this to do the same. This is not a political judgment in the sense that it's not about a particular policy, tax rates or criminal justice reform or the like. It's bigger and it's more fundamental than that. Donald Trump's well-documented narcissism means that he defiles and destroys anything he touches, from the Bible to the Justice Department to the Republican Party, because he can't conceive that those things exist to do anything but to serve his ego. We can't have a president who thinks that way. Trump believes that he can get away with anything because he's president. That's exactly backwards. Our president should be held to the highest standard, not the lowest. We have to enforce that standard by voting for Joe Biden in November.